Neville Goddard is one of the greatest spiritual teachers of the 20th century, and I love his teachings because they're all about our thoughts and our imagination is what creates our reality. Today, we're talking about one of Neville Goddard's most famous manifesting methods, the ladder technique. Hi everybody, I'm Sarah Stone Love. If you're new here, my channel's all about the science and psychology of manifesting. What is the ladder technique? Neville Goddard used to give this exercise to his students in his lectures to see if they could actually manifest climbing a ladder. Because if they could do it with a ladder, well guess what, you could do it with anything else. So in just a minute, I'm gonna share with you step by step how to do this yourself if you wanna test it out. I tried it, I was a little skeptical, I didn't think it was really gonna work, but I was completely amazed and I was so excited when it actually happened. I'm gonna share my story with you in just a minute. So Neville would actually give this exercise to all of his students. Whoever would climb a ladder within a week or two, actually physically climb a ladder, they were invited to his next lecture. You didn't climb the ladder, you didn't get invited back. What I love about this exercise the most is it really helps you to build faith of what you're actually capable of. Because you gotta think about it, it's really crazy that you can manifest climbing a ladder. You can absolutely do anything. The ladder is just a placeholder and it really helps you to build faith so that you can trust the process. So it's really simple. Neville says right as you're falling to sleep, right as you reach that magic hour where you're between conscious and subconscious, you visualize yourself climbing a ladder, but really feel it. Feel the weight in your hands. Feel if it's cold or if it's warm, if it's wobbly, it's sturdy. You've got to really experience it like you're on it and just keep climbing up and down. Or maybe it's an infinite ladder and you just keep climbing up. Visualize climbing the ladder for three consecutive nights right as you're falling asleep. And then during the day, you take out little sticky notes or little pieces of paper and all over your house or wherever you are most often, maybe at work, write on the sticky notes, I will not climb a ladder, not climb a ladder and read it like you really mean it. Because what's cool about this exercise is it shows the power of your imagination right as you're falling asleep, outweighs any opposing oppositional thoughts that you have during the day, any counter manifestation you got going on, it doesn't matter. Because that little moment right as you're falling asleep it is an incredible opportunity for you to manifest anything. So after three days of doing this, then you just let it go, completely forget about it. And Neville would invite those people that climbed the ladder within a week back to his next lecture. And he would say, just as easily as you climbed that ladder, you could have just manifested a million dollars. So like I said, I tried this out. I was pretty skeptical about it. Like I really wanted it to work, but I just, was like, yeah, I don't think this is gonna work. After only one night of visualizing and one day of me putting the sticky notes everywhere, that evening, that second evening, my daughter comes running into the house. She said, mom, there's smoke in the backyard. What is all this smoke? And then I see my husband walk by and he's like, oh, that's kind of scary looking, what's going on? And I immediately ran to the backyard, climbed a freaking ladder to see what was happening over the fence? Was it alarming? Was my neighbors about to set my house on fire? And as soon as I got off the ladder, I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I called Michaela, my editor, and I was like, guess what? Cause she knew I was trying it out. I just climbed a freaking ladder. I couldn't believe it. It just was so empowering to me to know that my thoughts could control something physical like that in my reality. So of course now I'm trying it out with something else. I just started today, so I will let you know what happens. I think it becomes really easy to manifest climbing a ladder because you have no resistance about it. You have no oppositional thoughts or memories or past experience, at least most of us don't. So there's nothing rising up deep inside of you, no beliefs inside our subconscious mind that's pushing it away. I'm not gonna climb a ladder, no big deal, right? And that's kind of how we have to start thinking about our dreams and our goals. No big deal. There's no resistance. We have to start manifesting from a place without resistance. I was really shocked that it happened after only the first day when you're supposed to do it for three days. But I don't know if anybody else out there is experiencing this, but I'm finding just from making this YouTube channel, and the more I'm studying it and the more I'm talking about it, the faster and faster my thoughts are materializing into my life. That is why I love doing this YouTube channel. I wanna help people, but I also wanna help myself. So another thing we can learn from this exercise is that if we fall asleep at night, and right before we fall asleep, we're thinking about our problems or we're worrying about something that might happen in the future, that means we're just praying to our problems. <laughs> that was a big wake up call for me. Like be really careful what you're thinking about as you fall asleep, because that is like the most potent time of to use your imagination to create the life if you want. How many ladders are you manifesting in your life that you don't really want to climb? Some people are able to manifest climbing the ladder right away. Sometimes it could take a few weeks or even a few months. Don't beat yourself up 
Don't get frustrated about it if you're not able to, because we're living in a time where there's more technology than ever, and a lot of us, our imagination has actually atrophied. You just gotta practice. Once you actually succeed at climbing the ladder, remember, it's just a placeholder for whatever it is you want, whatever you're desiring. Maybe it's health, maybe it's money, it's wealth, maybe it's a new car, maybe it's a relationship happiness. Another thing this exercise teaches you is that because climbing a ladder is such an arbitrary task that we don't really care if it happens or not, we're not asking endless questions. How's it going to happen? When's it going to happen? And that just creates resistance to your manifestation. And there's been tons of Neville Goddard students that manifested climbing the ladder and only weeks after that reported being able to manifest wealth. And they said they never had to worry again because they knew they could just imagine their way out of anything. What rules your life? is basically what you're thinking about as you drift off to sleep. I find this really fascinating, really empowering. We can take back the power in our lives and stop worrying as we're falling asleep. Don't take my word for it. Try climbing the ladder for yourself. And if you have success with it, please come back and share your story because I wanna hear from you. I'm Sarah Stone Love. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something from it as I did. Don't forget to share the video, subscribe, like it, leave me a comment, and join me every Tuesday and Thursday. We'll be sharing more content on the Law of Assumption.